What's going on, family? Robert here. So part of the Lord's Prayer, there's a stanza of the Lord's Prayer that says, give us this day our daily bread. If we can summarize what that verse is actually trying to say, it's really trying to say, give us the provisions that we need today. And I feel like here in Psalm 136, as we look at verse 25, it says something very similar. It says, he gives food to every living thing. His faithful love endures forever. He gives food to every living thing. Here, as I've said previously about Psalm 136, it is almost a history lesson of the children of Israel talking about how beginning in the beginning God created everything. And after every stanza, it says his faithful love endures forever. And then after it talks about their deliverance from Egypt and he says his faithful love endures forever. Then it talks about how God delivered them from kings and how his faithful love endures forever. And, and the, we've talked about the fact that he remembers us, that he saves us. But now we see something else about the Lord, that the Lord gives and he gives food to every living Thing. If we look in Matthew chapter 6, it talks about how God provides for the sparrows. And that, that application or that illustration is that if God can provide for the smallest parts of his creation, won't he provide for you? It talks about how God clothes the wild, the wild flowers in the field that are here today and gone tomorrow. And he said even Solomon isn't clothed in as beautiful array as those wild flowers. If I can summarize that, just like I summarized the Lord's Prayer, basically what it's saying, again, is that the Lord provides. He is a giver. And as James said, he is a giver of every good and perfect gift. So here in the text, the psalmist is reminded of the fact that he had been provided for. And if we think back, to how Israel was provided for in the wilderness. What were they provided with? They were provided with something called manna. It tasted like honey and wafers. I heard one pastor say it was like cornflakes from above. And as the psalmist remembered how the Lord provided for them then, the, his only response to that was that the Lord is faithful and that his love for his people endures forever. I want to ask you a question today. Has the Lord provided for you? Do you have food on your table or in your refrigerator? Do you, or do you have the ability to go out and go buy a McDonald's or an In-N-Out burger or maybe even a Five Guys? Do you have friends that may even invite you over just to have a meal with them? Well, if so, if any one of those answers, any one of those questions is yes, I believe you, just like I, should be like this psalmist and proclaim and decree that his faithful love endures forever. Because all of those are signs that the Lord gives food to every living thing. And that includes you, that includes me, and that includes everything that is in his creation. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is faithful and he loves his people. And he is a God of provision. So let's look for his provision. Let's trust in his provision. And let's lean into all that God has and bless his name for all the good gifts that he gives us, his children. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are a giving God. And here it says that you give food to all living things, but you gave us the greatest gift your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins. We thank you for that gift that makes us right with you. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that we can be, re be recipients, not only recipients, but a reflection of his love and faithfulness to the world. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for my final devotional in Psalm 136. God bless.